Hey guys, so guess what it's time for? It's six days early, but it's my five month dread update. Yes. Um, so quick spin around. I know I gave you an update recently, but there's a bunch of cool stuff happening. So I wanted to share with you that cool new stuff. These are my dreads, girl. I love them. I've been doing a bunch of like cool hairstyles with them. I've been just, I've been going crazy because they're so fun and like fun to work with. I'm really happy that I decided to get dreads. But um, a little history on my dreads if you guys aren't familiar. Um, this set I started with about, I don't know if I even told you this, I started with 50 some dreads and I was really upset because the lady se sectioning my hair didn't listen to what I wanted so I wound up with 50 dreads and that's not okay with me. I wanted way more, way thinner. Like I had to separate most of my dreads into two and three different dreads because they were way too thick for what I wanted. Um, and guys, bear in mind, uh, normal dread numbers on straight to wavy hair um, are anywhere from like 20 to 75. That's like average. Um, I've got 97 now. I separated a lot of my dreads, like a lot, a lot. So that's why I've got so many. And uh, for tight curl hair to kinky hair, normal numbers range from like 90 to 200. And if you get sister locks, like over 400, which is amazing. <laughs> um, but yeah, for me and my dreads, I've been separating so many, so they're all different ages. Like, I separated two or three very, very recently, like a month ago. Um, where is it? It's my last little dread, and it's the youngest one, so it's extra fluffy, unruly, naughty. Not K-N-O-T-T-Y, N-A-U-G-H-T-Y. Um, but yeah, uh, let's start off with just things that are happening. So, on my most mature dread that I know of, which is the dread with my boyfriend's hair in it and also this cool spiral I got at Oregon Country Fair. So, on this dread, this most mature dread that I know is five months old for real, um, it's like way less fluffy than the other dreads. It's locked in. It's nice and solid. It doesn't look like individual hairs anymore that much. Um, it's just, yeah, it's squishing down still a lot, so I know it's not fully mature. And at five months, it probably wouldn't be. But, yeah, this is it. Um, here's the full length. It's got, it's really fluffy down here, so I'm wondering if that had to do with the layering of my hair or what. And then we transition into my boyfriend's hair, which is really, literally, the oldest dread that I've got. Because I've been dreading my hair since February, and I think I made this in March. Um... I remade a set of dreads, so, yeah, but his hair isn't locking up like mine, and it's just like, come on, lock up. <laughs> I don't know if it's the wrong method for his hair type or what, but it's just, like, not working. Um, let's see, um, another phenomena that happens to me generally at three months of dreads is little white dots around my roots. Now, normally you see white dots in your hair, you think, oh my god, lice, right? It's not lice, it's actually the bulbs of your hair. Let's see if I can get a good zoom on this. Um, I hope you can see this. Yeah, here we go. So you see these little white dots? There's one right here at the where I'm moving my finger. There's another here, another there. These little white dots are just the bulbs of fallen hairs, and they kind of are demonstrating how many fallen hairs you have retained in your dreads, and they're kind of proof that they're, your dreads are getting thicker and more mature. Like this little, my teeniest dread here, um, it's getting nice and solid right here, which I never imagined would happen because it's so, so small. I thought it'd just be shitty forever, but it's not. Yeah. Um, let's see, what else? So since my extensions are only a month old, but I set them up really tight, but they've got all this loose hair on the sides, as you can kind of see. They like Velcro into each other, and I'll just kind of, let's see. Yeah, 
the more friction they get against each other, like the example palm rolling, the more they stick together. So I have started compulsively running my fingers through my hair. You can run your fingers through your hair when you have dreads. Don't be cray. This white balance is making me crazy. Let's see. Sorry guys, I'm being weird. But I've been obsessively running my fingers through my dreads because I have to keep popping them apart and like raking the little tiny hairs that are tying them together. Um, about maintenance at five months. After about the first month of kind of pulling in loose hairs and getting your dreads set up pretty tight if you're into crochet hooking, you don't really need to crochet hook the shaft of your dread anymore. Now, I do because I have extensions in and I get, where's one, like right here, I'll get a little part of the extension or my own hair that's popping out that I need to pull back in, but for the most part, I don't have to crochet hook the shafts of my dread. They're going to lock in by itself and it's, you know, it's fluffy now, but it's going to get less fluffy and it's going to get nice and tight like this, this bad boy up here. Um... I'm really happy with the number of my dreads. Uh, average number of dreads is like for straight to wavy hair um, and loose curly hair is from like 20 to 75. So anywhere in there is average and normal. Um, I've got 97, so that's a lot. But um, I wanted extra thin dreads and I'm happy that I've got them. And as long as you get dreads that you're happy with, it's fine. And if you need to comb out dreads and re-section them like I did on so many, then it's no big deal. Like, it's totally worth doing your dreads right and the way you want them, even if you have to do them twice like I did. It's so worth it. Um, what else is going on? Oh yeah, I've got a little tiny bit of looping. Let's, let's zoom in on my scalp, or focus anyway. So, these ones, you can see there's kind of a wave forming in these. Um, See, there's a little wave forming here, and my hair feels like odd and stiff. It doesn't really feel like hair anymore in a lot of places, which is exciting, guys. Um, where's some loops for you to see? I crochet hook like around the roots, so I crochet hook the loops out as much as I can because I don't want them, but I know they are a sign of progress, so it's kind of a catch 22. This one. Um, where is it? This guy decided just one night to like dread all the way down and loop and go crazy, so I had to crochet it in, but you can still see the bump here and the little swivel and the texture. But, um, yeah, that's kind of my five month strat update. I don't really know what else to say to you guys. Um,. I got a really cool shirt on though, check it out. H&M, swans, kissing, yeah! I really love it. And I'm in love with my hair. I'm, I've been doing like updos and really cool stuff all the time. And generally, I get so sick of it that I just pull it up like, and put it in a bun or anything, anything to get it out of my way because it's so much. Um, got a ton of loose hairs down here too. But basically, you guys have questions, whatever, um, you happen to live in the Willamette Valley and want dreads, whatever, 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 just shoot me a message in my inbox, ask me down here, and I'll try to answer you the best I can. Yeah, happy, happy five months and six days, woo! <laughs> Even though it's not like a true five months for most of my hair, but what else? Okay, have a good night, guys.